Hey everybody, welcome to Radio. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? This episode of Fazio Radio and every episode of Fazio Radio is brought to you by Volpe Martial Arts. Volpe Martial Arts is KW's hottest, newest Kung Fu and Hapkido school. My brother, Sifu Adam Volpe, brings you his lifelong passion, lifelong dream, lifelong skill, and love of the sport, love of the community, love of the family, right to your door. Not your door, his door. Check it out, VolpeMartialArts.com. Five days a week, check it out. He has, it's an amazing fusion, folks. Kung Fu and Hapkido. Kung Fu is a Chinese martial art. Hapkido, a Korean martial art, fusion together. Self-defense, fitness, discipline, confidence, camaraderie, and much, much more. Check it out, folks, folks, volpemartialarts.com. All right, folks, today, another short episode. I'm just going to talk today about what's going on right now, update, family day, Valentine's Day, and a little bit about the truckers, of course. I'm always going to tell them a little about the truckers because I love the truckers. I'll always support the truckers. Peaceful, peaceful protests. That's the key, folks. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching Fatso Radio, episode number 159. I love you all. Lily, take it away. Fatso Radio. Fatso, Fatso, the really great podcast show. Fatso, Fatso, the very very first first podcast podcast show. show. Everybody, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to Fatso. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This episode of Fatso Radio and every episode of Fatso Radio is brought to you by Volpe Martial Arts. Folks, let's get right into it. Episode 159. I want to talk about Family Day weekend. I want to talk about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. So first Valentine's Day passed just a couple days ago. Now, me and my significant other don't do anything crazy for Valentine's Day, but it is a time where I like to reflect and um, just, you know, say an extra thank you to her and to everything that she's given to me not materialistic things of course but the just the support the love the materialistic things as well sure it's always great to say thank you for those it's always great to get things like that but that's not the most important part the most important it, most important part to me uh of my spouse and and what she gives me and what she provides me is love and support and and you know what she adds to my life she adds to my life so many things one of them is, is that she adds the ability to me for me to be a parent And she gave me two beautiful kids and I cannot thank her enough for that. So happy Valentine's Day to all the Valentines out there, all the love out there and all the just family in general. And that brings me to my next thing. It's Sammy Day weekend coming up here in Ontario. And it's a great time for me to just a shout out to all of my family all over, whether you're in Sault Ste. Marie, whether you're down in Kitchener, whether you're in Waterloo, whether you're in Cambridge, whether you're in Collingwood, whether you're in Taipei, Rob, I love you, whether you're all over the world. I love you and I'm glad and I hope that you're doing okay and I'm glad if you are doing okay and I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to hear from you. Um, a big shout out to Rob, big shout out to my cousin Sarah, big shout out to my cousin Trish. Um, they lost their mom this weekend and uh, Zia, I love you so much. Um, it's it's hard to say exactly what I want to say, but I've said to you a million times I love you, but you can never tell someone you can love them enough and I love you Zia and I'll always remember you and your kids are are my first cousins and as 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 much as family means to anything that's what they mean to me they are as close as family can be and i'm going to see you guys i'm going to see a couple of you guys this weekend so <clears throat> again family weekend it's a time not just to spend with your weekend it's not just the time to spend with your family on that weekend of course we should we should be spending as much time as possible with our family if i've learned one thing or if i've realized one thing the older i've gotten is that um, family means more and more to me, the older I get. And it's, it's, it's precious. The older I get, it becomes more and more precious. I I cherish it more and more the older I get because life, life is fast. Life is short and things can happen in an instant. And we all know that every single day we're reminded every single day, or if not every single day, if we're lucky, we're lucky if we're not reminded every single day, but for a lot of people, we are reminded on a daily basis, how quick this precious life can be taken from us. And uh, just, it reminds me how much I love my family, how much I love my friends, how much I love and appreciate anybody who is trying to do their best to spread love. Anybody who is trying to just spread joy and, and spread peace and harmony and kindness to your fellow man, to your fellow woman, to your fellow child. And that, and that means any different way. You know, I talk about Fatso Radio, I talk about diet and nutrition. Um, and, and we can bicker all day about diet and nutrition. We can say this is better, this is better. But at the end of the day, if you're helping somebody, that's the key. 
right? You may not take the advice that I give you because you may, and you may know that it's not hundred percent right for you, but you st may still appreciate my advice and you may still just appreciate the fact that we're talking about it together. And that's what I do appreciate. And I like discussing things with people and I like just, and that's why food has always been an easy way to discuss things with people because it brings people together, brings people to the table and it gives them an opportunity to sit and talk and have a meeting place where, um, you know, there's usually less judgment or no judgment at all, but with family, there's always judgment. That's okay. We can handle that. But that's what I really love to spur, share, share the love and to spread the love. And like I said, even if we're not going to agree on the diet, or even if we're not going to, not going to agree, agree on our approach, even something as sensitive and something as, uh, as vital as even a health approach or, you know, a medical approach for treatment or healing. I understand that, especially during today's climate of, of COVID, COVID and, and vax, not vax and everything like that. I understand that everybody has a different perspective. So my idea again is just to support and to love to show that we are there for each other. And I hope you know that I'm here for you. And that's the idea of this show as well, right? It's not to say, Hey, I lost a bunch of weight and this is how you do it. It's, Hey, this is what worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. But as you go along your journey and you stumble a million and a half times, because I stumbled two million times and you're going to stumble probably half as much as me or maybe as much as me. So, but as you're stumbling and as you're we're climbing our way through this, this thing called life, this is why I'm here is because you may feel, I hope you feel that there's at least one other son of a gun out there that's going through the same thing you're going through. And it's not just about diet, right? It's like I said earlier, it's about family. It's about losing family members. It's about gaining family members, which is amazing. You know, children and grandchildren and all that stuff, but it's about the trials and the tribulations. It's people get sick, people die. We have, we get injured. We go through stressful times, money situations, jobs, um, moving houses, moving cities, you know, being so many different aspects of life and so many different ways, so many different hurdles that we go through. And um, I can't think of, I can't, I can't think, I, I couldn't possibly imagine doing this in life alone. I really couldn't. I mean, of course I would try my best and I would do it, but I just, I, it's, it's not, I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody. I love people. It doesn't mean you're surrounded by people 24 hours a day, but it's just, the, the, the community, the family, the family unit, I believe it. And, and it's, it's, I believe it's what keeps us together and it's what keeps us going strong. So again, back to the diet, if you are struggling, which I know you are going to struggle because maybe you're not struggling. Maybe this is the week that you're doing great. And if this is the week you're doing great, great. Keep on doing the same thing you did last week. If you're ready to push yourself, push yourself. If you're not ready to push yourself, stay the course, hold the line. That's, that's like, that's my theme these days for many reasons, but Hold the line. If you're doing well, keep it up. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But if you are struggling, like I've struggled in the past and I'm struggling now, again, hey, I've gained weight over the last year or so. I know a lot of people have. I know that it comes and goes for a lot of people. For me, it comes on fast and then it goes. And then it comes on again and it goes. I've kept a pretty good job. I've done a pretty good job of keeping most of it off, of course, but it's 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 still a struggle. It's still a daily struggle, a weekly struggle, a, month, a monthly struggle. But again, the best way to do it Aside from get setting your routines and setting your habits up for success, that's the, that's the, that's the key, of course. But family, having support, having that community, whether it's online, whether it's in person, thankfully the restrictions are being lifted soon here in Ontario. Everywhere else in the world seems to be that they're restricted. Sorry, it seems that everywhere else in the world is is being lifted or soon to be lifted. But get outside, get walking, get with your neighbor, get with your family, your friend. And just get it, get moving and, and get motivated and kind of bring that village mentality with you because you can go for a walk around the block with two people. You can go for a walk around the block with three people. I've seen, and I used to make fun of these people, but I used to see these old middle-aged men and women walking down the block on a Sunday afternoon in groups of 10. I get why they're doing it now because they're enjoying their friggin' life and they realize that that's what's keeping them healthy. And if they can do that and they can stay healthy and they can still enjoy the other things in life, then God bless them. So again so the community the village i talk about that all the time but it's it really is, is a key to success and, and family day let's maybe maybe i can in inspire you or put a, a bug in you to to appreciate your family and i'm sure you do already but if you don't and if you haven't appreciated them maybe you can appreciate them a little bit more this weekend and maybe you can think about them i surely do and I, I i know i don't tell them i love them enough i know i don't tell them i think that that i'm thankful enough for what they've done for me you know and the opportunities they've given me and the challenges they've given me um and the fact that you know it's it's nice to have different perspectives it's nice to have people that are willing to 
debate with you and inspire with you a little bit, right? And not everybody's into that. I get that. So it, it's, you know, there's a different place in the, for everybody in your life. But it, it reminds me, I'm always reminded again, right? Family, family, friends and family. Friends and family is the same thing. It's your community. It's your village. And the last thing I want to talk about is support. Again, support for the truckers. I want to talk about it for just about two minutes because there's so much, there's so much, I don't want to say it's misconception or misunderstanding because that would imply that I know exactly what's going on. And I'm not going to be so arrogant to say that, but I do think that everybody knows what's going on. Okay. And so the truth is nobody knows exactly what's going on because there is more than just one thing going on. There is probably a dozen different things going on, maybe even more than that. The truth of the matter is, excuse me, the truth of the matter is people are annoyed because there is lots of honking horns down in Ottawa right now. Yes. And there's lots of diesel trucks and there's lots of noise, there's lots of congestion and it's causing a lot of congestion and a lot of downtown traffic and a lot of nuance and a lot of, it's bothersome, right? And it's annoying. I'll say that. Now, I'll also say that I think that's absolutely justified because it's peaceful. And if that's what you need to do to get attention, again, peaceful, not anybody having hurt, getting hurt, not, uh, shutting down trade i'm not for that at all i'm not for shutting down a bridge i'm not for shutting down a border i'm not for that at all i'm for peacefully protesting but yes it's okay to be a nuisance it's okay to civilly disobey disobey that's the whole idea so the idea to say when some people have said that well they've, they've made their peace they've, they've stayed there for a week or so why don't they just go home if you're going to do something for two weeks and then just go home you're not really making your point are you at least in my mind, you're not making your point if you're just going to say, okay, uh, you haven't changed for us or you haven't said anything for us. You haven't even met with us and we're just going to go home because people are afraid of or people are tired of honking the horns. I get that. I get that. Absolutely. It's not about being vaccinated. It's not about getting your shot and going home. It's not about um, let's get back to work and let's stop interrupting Ottawa's business. It's not about that. It's about for two years, our lives were thrown around. Locked down anytime, seemingly arbitrarily at times. Sometimes there was some logical science. Sometimes there was no logical. Sometimes there was no logical science behind it. But the fact of the matter is that the federal mandates are wrong, and this is what people are pushing. And the federal mandates. He doesn't want to do anything about it. Justin Trudeau doesn't want to do anything about it. He ignores it. Ignores it. Hopes that the police are going to take care of it. The chief of police resigned. Do you think that's coincidental that he resigned? No, he's obviously not up for it. That's my take on it. He's not agreeing with what's going on. If the, the CBC critics are going to say, oh, he, 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 quit, he, he quit under pressure of doing a bad job or a bad response, bullshit. That's not how it works. He's not going to quit because he, he felt like he didn't respond poorly. I think if he did a bad job, he'd get fired. That's not how it happens here. That's my opinion again, right? But again, if you're peaceful, you're protesting, yes, you're going to maybe cause a traffic jam. Maybe you're going to make it difficult for people that live downtown Ottawa to get back and forth to work. Yes. I'm not saying that that's ideal. But what's for people to equate that the same as people losing their job, it's not the same. It's not the same if you have a traffic jam for two weeks or two and a half or three weeks and you have a lot of horns and you have a lot of nuisance in your downtown. That's not the same as me not being able to work for the government, federal government because I didn't take a shot. Regardless of the reason, you can have what you think are maybe your reasons for me not taking the shot, but you don't know the reason. And it's none of your business why. Not only is it none of your business, I can tell you, but it has nothing to do with my freedom. It shouldn't have anything to do with my freedom. It shouldn't impede me from working. If I don't want to take a shot that you're comfortable with, it should have nothing to do with my job, right? That's the idea. Traveling the border is one thing as well, but the federal mandates, the federal employees is another thing. That's like the story that's not talked about. How many federal employees across the country either don't want the shot and didn't get it, or did take the shoot two shots, but don't want the booster or don't want the third one if they're afraid the third one's going to come or do, just don't want to deal with this at all. That's the thing. It's, it's very small. It's very not small, but it's, it's a nuanced idea that keeps on getting missed. It's not about not taking the shots. It's about the mandates because the mandates, if you're okay with this mandate and it stays, what's next? What if the next mandate you're not okay with? then more of the population is going to be okay with this mandate, right? And you're going to have even more people to fight if you're against that next mandate and so forth and so forth. Once we start letting them mandate things that we don't agree with as a whole country, or not only that, once we start letting them 
mandate anything that's against our freedom when it shouldn't be their job, but our job, then we're on a slippery slope. That's the whole idea of the mandate. That's the whole idea of the protest. Justin Trudeau could have stopped this. Day one, day two, day 14, day 15, he could stop this right now, right? He did not need to call Emergencies Act to get the police the power they need. They already had the power they need. They needed. He didn't need the police act or the emergency act to do that, but he did that. It's not even passed in parliament yet and things are already happen happening. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, even know what my best advice is, but here's my only advice. Stay peaceful, keep it peaceful. Are they gonna arrest thousands and thousands and thousands of peaceful people? Thousands and thousands and thousands of peaceful people? Think about that for a second. Why would they, first of all, arrest thousands and thousands of thousands of people? Do they want global news? Do they want global media? Not global news, the station, because I don't know if they cover it or not. But do they want the global news networks all over the world seeing this? Peaceful protests. Peace, this has been peaceful. Everybody, all level-headed media around the world is showing that this is peaceful. One flag and a million people. <laughs> One, uh, two flags that were questionable and a million people marching. But stealing gas the auto police has been known to, uh, been proven to do this now you see footage all over the place you can't hide this footage you can't even lie about this so it's either being covered by all these different independent medias guys like me and you with a phone on or it's been co uh, or it's not covered at all and that's what cbs or cbc is doing they're just not covering what the real story is and just doing what the 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 official narrative is so i don't know again my support goes to the truckers my support goes to the peaceful protesters always it'll always go for the peaceful to the peaceful protesters. You start burning things down, I'm not supporting that. You start looting things, I'm not supporting that. You start flipping cop cars, I'm not supporting that. I'm not supporting any of that, right? We are the same, I am the same type of person that wants law and order today, that wants the same person that wants law and order tomorrow. Again, if you're standing there peacefully protesting and you're standing there with a sign or whatever you're doing and you're not breaking the law, you're not impeding traffic, peacefully protesting, and peacefully get arrested, I don't know. I can't tell you I would do that because I'm not down there right now, but there seems, there seems to be tens of thousands of people that are absolutely okay with, the, with, with that happening. So as long as you're peaceful, what's he going to do? What's Trudeau going to do? And I, I'm afraid that it's not going to end nicely because I don't think Trudeau, in order to, I don't think he's going he's gonna to just relinquish the power like this. Um, and I hope it stays peaceful. Again, I hope it's, there's no violence. I hope the police don't don't lose their temper. I hope the average Canadian down there doesn't lose their temper. But again, it's not about getting the shots. We know now the shots doesn't help transmission. Transmission. We know now that the shops, the, the, the hospitals are always running at capacity or near capacity. Anybody who's ever lived in Ontario for more than five or 10 years, please tell me, you know, we've always been at capacity. We're always just at a margin. That's how they operate here. That's how most businesses operate. But the fact, if we have a healthcare system that's in trouble, it's surely not because of COVID. It's surely not because of the unvaccination. And it's surely not because of a lack of mandates in the past. That's not going to fix our healthcare system. Mandates will not fix our healthcare system. The only thing that's going to fix our healthcare system is people getting damn healthy. I don't have an answer for that, but it's not this mandate to get the shot. If they knew the shots, and if the shots were proven to help transmission, to not only help, to stop transmission, then you can use the argument of you're doing your best as your neighbor to prevent transmission. Yes, that's not the case, so the argument is over. That's it. If it's just a nuisance for you in Ottawa, sorry, it's been much more of a nuisance to me that I haven't worked for the federal government in the last year. So take your pick. And then you can say, why didn't you get the shot? Ask me why I didn't get the shot. If you followed the show, you know why I didn't get the shot. I had cancer. I don't want to fuck with that. I'm not, I shouldn't need an exception. Every Canadian should have that right to say no. And that's the bottom line. You don't need to have a reason to not follow the government's medical advice. That's all it is. It's medical, medical advice. I love you all. Thanks for watching Fatso Radio. Thanks for listening to Fatso Radio. If this is your first time listening to Fatso Radio, I usually talk about diet. Lately, I've been talking about COVID. I've been talking about the convoy. I've been talking about the truckers. I support them. I support, I support a peaceful Canada where, where we are all open to speak our minds, to speak our voice, to vote for any political party you want, to support any sort of movement you want. This was a free country. It was a free country when Justin Trudeau got elected the first time. It slowly is changing and it's scaring me. 
hey, I voted for him the first time. I know what it's like to have buyer's remorse, 100%. So I could change my mind. You could change your mind too. Anyway, call your MP, call your local whatever. Call everybody you want to call. Tell them you're not happy with Mr. Trudeau. Mr. Trudeau. I'm not going to call him Mr. Trudeau anymore. Tell him you're not happy with Justin Trudeau because he's doing a shitty job. He needs to change what he's doing. And that's his job. His job as a politician is to do his job. And his job as a human being is to self-reflect and to know when you made a mistake. And if you don't know when you make a mistake, it's to listen to other people because there's a lot of people telling him. Thanks for listening to Thoughts of Radio. Episode number 159, I believe. I love you all. Thank you. Lily's going to say thanks. No, Wild's going to say thanks for listening. And then we're going to have our theme song. That's a radio. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Peace. Let's say bye to everybody. Bye. And we'll say thanks for listening. Say thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. That's so radio, the really great podcast show. That's so radio, the really great podcast show. So get your butt and get in your chair. Don't eat your nails and don't pull your hair. We'll talk about chicken or talk about steak. We'll talk about fat for goodness sake. That's so, that's so, the really great podcast show. That's so, that's so, the very first, first podcast, podcast show. show.